Everything about this project is big. Each one is 20 meters wide. There are four of them. A new way of peering into the depths of the universe. It's called CHIME. And from the ground up, it looks radically different, bolted into the Earth. Scientists say it's a big improvement over traditional radio telescopes like these. You're looking through the dish, you're steering it to one point in the sky, and you're looking through a relatively small region of the sky. So you can see what's there, but you're not, allowed to, you're not able to see a lot of the night sky. With a telescope like CHIME, you're capturing the light from the entire overhead sky, from north to south, and you're able to see everything that's there. Looking back billions of years creates huge amounts of data. In fact, it's equivalent to about all the cell phone traffic in the world. So as of today, reams of new information for researchers. Thank you to all Today's launch unleashes a flood of new information about the cosmos. I have to tell you, as a scientist, right now I am so excited about this out-of-the-world research that's going to take place here. One of the key things being studied is dark energy. It's a mysterious force and there's lots of it, twice as much as everything else in the universe. Yeah, what's dark energy is a million dollar question. So, so dark energy is the name we give to whatever it is that's causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate. Where did it come from? How does it fit in our other view of physics? No idea. The other focus will be on the relatively new field of fast radio bursts. These are powerful blasts of energy, lasting milliseconds and originating in far-off galaxies. There is a whole universe out there of really remarkable objects that you know most people don't actually have the privilege of getting to know and love and try and understand, and that is, uh, that's a huge amount of fun to see what's out there and how creative nature can be. For the 50 scientists involved here, all that fun is just beginning. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, near Penticton, B.C.